the big breakfast burrito right now on top Jimmy Cook's because they think you're unremarkable and we prove them wrong. Hey, you guys know that when you're starting any kind of a giant breakfast burrito, everything starts with those ingredients. So let's do it for you. I got my breakfast sausage right here. Like I was saying in another video, that's Snow Creek. Great stuff. Thick cut bacon. Have you guys noticed bacon's really gotten expensive now? Those pigs must want to raise. I guess that's what it was. That maybe they went union. Gonna do three eggs right here. You gotta have some cheese. Cheesy cheese. My hot sauce is the um, Cholula. I like the Chipotle sauce. What kind of seasoning are we using? Are you kidding? Is there anything else but frag out flavor? And paya! We're gonna use them all. There's your crispy tots. I like the frozen ones. Um, and this is a wonderful brand that I found at my local grocery store. A huge, huge um, flour tortilla. I'm just gonna use one. And here's something that I kind of came up with on my own. That's a sauce that I use on top of everything. It's a remoulade sauce, which got, uh, I'm sorry, which has some ranch in it. It's got a great flavor. You guys ready? About time to get started. Now, of course, you know how we're going to uh, make our tots, right? The greatest appliance in the world there. It sits in front of you at all its glory, the Ninja Foodie people. It's already preset. I've preheated it about eight minutes, 390 degrees. We're gonna use the air crisp function. There goes our tots. I'm actually gonna put a lot in. We may not actually use all those in one burrito, but that's fine with me. We can have some leftovers. We're gonna close the Ninja. 390 degrees, and we're gonna um, cook these for 16 minutes. Shaking halfway through, now. And the ninja has counted down. There's our first part of it. Let's get this sucker open, what do you say guys? Take a look at our tots in there. There's your tots. Can you see tots? I can too. So what we're gonna do is, what I always call my KC in the sunshine band, and I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. You know the rest of those lyrics, don't you? You should, if you don't, well, you're just weird. All right, now. There it goes. How about some seasoning for you? Here goes your frag out flavor, guys. The Battle Buddy, which is a little, uh, got a great combination of flavors for your tots. Close it back up. And also, look right over here. I'm gonna start this again, but I'm also gonna preheat my Ninja Never Stick cookware and also start slicing that bacon. Here we go. Woo, can you say done? Do they look great or what? Crispy tots. A ninja never stick pan preheating, and our bacon has been chopped up, I think. Let's continue to cook now. Woo! Doesn't that look good? Of course it does. Why wouldn't it look good, people? That's bacon. Oh, thick cut bacon. Applewood smoked. Oh, no, it's hickory. This is hickory in the old ninja. Now... <clears throat> In next, we gotta have some seasoning for that bacon. Some people think you can over season it, but I gotta have some constitution from Frag Out Flavor. And don't we all need more constitution in our lives? Verily I say unto thee, we do. Not much. It's kind of a barbecue like seasoning. I actually enjoy it. What else might you need on some bacon? How about some pepper? I can do it for you. Gotta have pepper on your bacon. And again, that natural flavor is gonna come out just like that, so you don't need a huge amount. Let's switch. There you see, Ninja never stick. No butter, no oil. Yes, I do preach it, because it's true. We're gonna let this bacon get going. Once it gets separated, rendered down, we're gonna be adding our sausage next, kids. Oh man, doesn't that look great? You guys see how that bacon has cooked down? Doesn't that look great? Got the sizzle, got the flavor. Oh, it's, it's hard to top, it really is. Now in goes your breakfast sausage. Oh, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to drop about that much right there in there. Here it comes. Watch this. Yeehaw! There it goes. We're going to start. That, that, that took a second. Sorry. Break that up a little bit. Going to work that around. It's going to get in with that bacon. And this will take just a few minutes. Brown this off really, really good. After that, we're gonna be ready for our eggs. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Everything is rendered down now. And guys, look what I got for you now. I got those eggs. Three eggs in there. Gonna put some of the paya seasoning on there for you. Gotta have some seasoning on your eggs. Gonna beat those eggs just a little bit. 
And I've turned my heat down to a medium low. What I do with eggs is I, I do what I've always called a slow scramble. I don't like them at a high temperature. I like them to cook slowly and so I can get the texture that I like. And in they go. Look at that. You leave it like that and make yourself kind of a scramble, couldn't you? But no, we're throwing it in the old burrito thing. So I got my rubber spatula and I'm just going to start working these in and letting them scramble. Everything in one pan. Here we go again, kids. You really can do that. And the Ninja. Oh, wow, looks good, doesn't it? See how they're already coming together? Now, at this point, I'm actually gonna see the consistency there. I'm gonna turn the heat off, completely off, and let these cook just like that. There we go. Looking good, looking good, almost ready now. Okay, guys. Got our big tortilla ready. Ready to put the mixture in here, the eggs, the bacon, the sausage. If you got a uh, sharp eye, you might notice that I have just changed pans. I made that a smaller one so I could have less chance of uh, spillage. Everything is there. Oh yeah, looking good, there we go. Everything came together nicely. What goes on top? How about those tots? Let's get some tots in there. I don't like a whole lot of them, but that's good for a different kind of a texture. Gotta have your cheese, guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Cheese everywhere. Don't forget about your Cholula. Here comes my Chipotle sauce. Don't have hardly any of that left. In fact, that'll do it. And then remember my uh, special sauce there. Gotta dump that on there, just a touch. Give it that good tang that goes with everything. And now the moment of truth. Roll up, roll up, roll up. And now, oops, you're down here, you're down here. Down, and I'm gonna turn over. Just like that, almost split it. Oh, there's a very, very small split, but I think I did okay right there. I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Looking pretty good. You guys ready to slice it? Let's take a look at what it looks like. Scarred a Viking knife right through the middle, guys. Just like that. Thank goodness for copper fit gloves, right? Look at this. Oh, there you go. Looking good right there. There's a piece of bacon that belongs to me. Mm hmm. Looking good right there. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty good. Cheese has started to melt, get those flavors together. We are looking very, very good here. May have done a pretty good job. All right, guys, I do believe it's time to get cracking on this thing. That is a huge breakfast burrito. I'm glad it turned out pretty good. That's the first time I've ever done this, okay? So you guys are going to see a rookie in action of making a breakfast burrito like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. That helps other people find the video. And you don't miss out on anything we're going to be cooking in the future. My goodness. Time to get started. You guys enjoy it from the big breakfast burrito top, Jimmy Cooks.